Hello guys, my name is Luca and in this review I will take a look at the most budget friendly unit that belongs in the Philips Soundbar series and is designed for those that seek a nice audio upgrade over their TV but without to need to spend big bucks. The Philips B5305 Soundbar, in my opinion the cheapest soundbar with wireless subwoofer. Stay until the end of this video and I will tell you what feature it has and whether or not worth buying it plus a soundbar recommendation in the same price range as this one but better. When you first unpack the unit, you have to connect both the soundbar and the subwoofer to a powered outlet. Then you have to choose how you will connect the Philips soundbar as we get to choose between an HDMI arc, a digital optical connection, auxin or bluetooth connection. When all wires are connected, you can power up the main unit and you are ready to go. Simple as that. At the back of the wireless subwoofer, oh excuse me, at the back of the mini wireless subwoofer, a blue LED light should indicate that pairing with the main unit is done, solid blue. This is usually done at the factory. The Philips B5305 soundbar is basically a 2.1 channel surround with a wireless subwoofer and has up to 70 watts of total power combined. The unit comes with basic playback and streaming capabilities. The soundbar is easy to use, not very complex settings and setup, good quality for the price asked and an overall friendly user experience as this unit is targeting more of a casual market than a hardcore audience. Overall design is nice and classic, as with all Philips soundbar. Plastic is obviously the main material being used. On the top right side of the main unit, you will find the layout of buttons with a power on and off, volume control and an input button that can be used for various functions depending how many times you press it like input selection, bluetooth and auxin. Unfortunately, the Philips soundbar lacks a display, but with the HDMI arc you can connect your TV and it allowing you to control the soundbar volume with the same remote you use your TV, but sometimes doesn't work. The Philips soundbar features a low profile making placement under a TV as easy as it gets. The soundbar is low enough to let the sensor of the most TV unobstructed. In the package you will find wall brackets in case you plan on putting on the wall. The included mini subwoofer has a simple boxy look and it has on the back the pair button. It has 40 watts power and is not bad at all for such a small subwoofer. Wireless capabilities of the soundbar are limited to the Bluetooth as this unit is missing Wi-Fi connection which means you can stream music only from a mobile device like smartphone or tablet to your soundbar. In the package is included a remote control which provides all the necessary buttons in order to control all the soundbar functions. As far as its performance, the Philips B5305 soundbar will certainly offer you a gently boost of sound compared to what your TV could output and the included subwoofer is doing a good job as, pro as, as providing the extra bass power that a TV needs, but for me is not enough. The output sound has more or less what you should expect from a unit of this class and price. The Philips B5305 soundbar is clearly not hi-fi material, but you should never expect it to be with a price tag at around $80. It is an excellent proposal and it, it offers more sound than this TV, this Philips TV. At the end of this review, I want to say that Philips B5305 soundbar is a good choice in case you are looking for an easy to handle and simple to use soundbar as its plug in and play design will certainly attract many of you. General design and build quality, it is ok. The sound performance is low but certainly will upgrade your TV's audio without spending too much money 
or having to deal with complex settings and features. The downside of this unit is obviously the lack of any real surround activity, Atmos capability and the surround quality. What I don't like most about this soundbar is that the moment I want to watch a movie on Netflix, the system is no longer recognize any format and does not emit any sound and this aspect is tested on a Philips TV, a Philips Smart TV. Conclusion. This system doesn't impress me. I would wait to raise more money and buy a system for around $200 such as LG SM5 or the Panasonic HTB 490 soundbar. What are your impressions? Feel free to join my YouTube channel and please hit that like button. Cheers!